Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to continue exploring DAS Studio 3D Bridge for Photoshop. We're going to learn how to import layers from DAS Studio to Photoshop. If for some reason your DAS Studio gets closed you can just click on Launch DAS Studio in the Bridge menu and that re-enables the bridge. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's go to Figures and we'll open the elephant. Okay, we'll zoom out and adjust it a little bit. And you can modify it if you want to, or let's just say for now that you like the model as it is. So you're done with this model and you want to move it into a scene. So click on your bridge and click preview image and select which window you want it to import to. And import it. And you notice that it imports into the window that is active. And DAS has actually imported a preview which is actually very useful because if you've preset lighting in DAS you'll be able to see it in your Photoshop view and be able to match it with your scene. This is an image that is from the Geek at Play collection and it's uh, HDR ready matte painting. So we can actually use the same lighting inside DAS as we do in our scene. This allows us to keep consistent lighting, positioning, and settings. So after you get your model positioned the way you like it, and where you want it in your scene, then you'll go to Render to a New Layer. And depending on your computer speed, it could take a few seconds. And you'll notice that it has rendered it into an additional layer onto our composition. And this next step is kind of the best part. You can go inside and say, okay, we want to use maybe a different model. And we'll just change his pose. And I like that, so I'm going to render that. Now you notice that it's separating them by layers. So now you can modify them and position them separately by using the separate layers. We'll turn off the preview by clicking on that and hiding it. And this is our white elephant without any texture. What's important is that they're all on separate layers so you can move them and position them separately any way you like. Also you can work with additional objects, backgrounds, or multiple models. And I'm sure that you can see what great things you have the potential of creating with just a couple of clicks. Of course if you need more models, always remember you can go on Daz3D.com and download there or one thing we need to let you know and be aware of is that this website is very addictive. There's a lot of excellent models there, so consult your psychologist to make sure you don't have an addictive personality or some other problems with addictions. And if you're strong enough, we really recommend for you to go and join their premium club. They have excellent free models and they have very nice special just for members on multiple models. and. If you look at my collection, it's huge. I spent a lot of time there and I really enjoy it. And those models do save a lot of time when you're doing professional work for other projects. And thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studios. Please come and visit us on the web at www.geekatplay.com.